With my shortcuts, T refers to the tape measure, Option T is screen text, and Control T is 3D text. Press Option T to activate the screen text tool, and you'll see that the cursor changes. I'll click on this edge to refer to that, and then I'll click again over here to set down the leader. It suggests a dimension, perhaps of the length of this edge, but I'm just going to type in slope 4 colon 12 to refer to the fact that this is a rise of 4 inches and a run of 12 inches. Click off to the side rather than pressing return. If you press return, you can enter another line of text, which is not my current intention. I'll go back. If I click off to the side, I complete that, and then I move on to the next leader. You can make a leader that has multiple arrowheads by clicking another point, and then clicking down here very carefully at this point. And then I can put in a space. No text, just a space. And that will allow me to put in the actual leader line without any text. If you press escape, you'll actually cancel the command. So using a space is kind of a trick to allow you to put in multiple leaders. But this doesn't work that well, actually, because if you orbit, you'll see that the leaders are actually not in the same place. They only line up in one orientation. Let's say I want to maintain this and print this out as a drawing. What I should do now is create a scene that saves this location. I'll go to the Window menu and open the Scenes window. And I'll just have everything selected here and click Plus. This will create a scene which I have access to at the top here. I can then orbit to some other orientation, click the button, and I'll go right back to that position. So this is good in scene one, but when I'm working in another orientation, I don't really want to see these two leaders. So what you need to do here is create some layers. I'll go to the Layers palette, and I've already made a dim layer. I'd like to select all the dimensions and place them on that layer. A quick way of doing that is to open Model Info and utilize this button that selects all the dimensions. I'll close Model Info. Then I'll go into Entity Info by pressing Command I. Here I'll change the layer of the selection to Dim. So all of those dimensions are on that layer, but this is not. I need to select this manually, hold down Shift, and get that. Go into Entity Info and change that to Layer Dim as well. Now I can turn off Layer Dim and I don't see any of my dimensions or screen text. I can save this as a scene. Scene 2. So now I can go between Scene 1 and Scene 2 where I have dimensions and everything's lined up. And Scene 2 where I'm working. Quite a flexible system when you use screen text and dimensions in conjunction with scenes and layers. You can also create text without a leader. Let me just go back to Scene 1. I'll press Option T to activate the Screen Text tool. And here, I'll just click a point off to the side, not referring to any geometry. SketchUp is smart enough to realize that I'm not pointing to anything, so I must just want to type in some text. Here I can type in Dimensioning Return Tutorial, and then I'll click off to the side to complete the command. As the name suggests, screen text is glued to the screen, and it remains there no matter how I navigate. I can select it and move it. So screen text is great basically for identifying the drawing that you're working in and just putting it over on the side. Another way of doing this is with a watermark, which is something that I'll talk more about when we get into styles.